Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Sonia and today I want to talk to you guys about my weight loss journey and how I lost 100 pounds. How I went from this to this. So my highest weight was 227 and now I'm 125, which has been my lowest. Last year in August 15, 2018, I underwent bariatric surgery. And today is August 15 of 2019 and today marks a year of my weight loss journey. So for those of you who don't know what bariatric surgery is, is a surgery for obese people to help them lose weight. And there are two types of bariatric surgery. There is the gastric bypass and the vertical sleeve. The difference between both is that the vertical sleeve, they cut. 85% of your stomach leaving you with only 15% and the gastric bypass is pretty much the same they cut uh, a part of your stomach but they also cut your small intestine and connect it to your new stomach which is a little bit more extreme and that's the one I got I got the gastric bypass the whole purpose of bariatric surgery and getting your stomach side smaller is to eat less and get full faster and with that, lose weight. So I wasn't always obese, but I was never skinny. I was always like on the, you know, chubbier side. And my highest weight was 227, which for my height, I'm 5'2", that is considered obese. So obesity is a um, health issue. And for that, my insurance covered bariatric surgery. But let me tell you guys, it was a process. So for the process, I first had to go to my primary doctor and let them know that I was interested in bariatric surgery. She then referred me to the insurance, which I had to first go to Weight Watchers for six months. That's what the insurance required first. So when I would go to Weight Watchers, they gave us a book like this. And they would record everything, like, you know, every time you would go, because I had to go once a week for six months. They would give you a little sticker with your information. I don't know if you guys could see. And I started going July 17, 2017. And my weight then was 225. So I went, okay, so I started on July 17 of 2017. And my last visit was March 2018 and I was at 226 so you guys are probably like okay you started off at 225 you ended with 226 what happened there well I wouldn't really follow the diet that they would give us and then after that I went to my primary doctor let them know that I was done with the six months that they required for Weight Watchers and after that she referred me to the surgeon my surgeon was Dr. Awad. He's located in Palm Springs. Amazing surgeon, by the way. And then after I went with him, I was 227. I don't know how that happened. Probably not following any diets. Anyways, I started going with him May 7 of 2018. I'm like trying to think the year. And when like I said, when I went with him, I was at 227, which was has been my highest ever, highest weight ever. And he told me that day to stop soda and fast food, and I did. I did. I stopped soda. So since May 7 of 2018, I have not had a drink of soda. And after that, um, he referred me with a psychologist to make sure I wasn't crazy. That's what he said. And also to a nutritionist who would teach us how to eat properly and what to avoid. Like for example, also to check the labels like from the nutrition facts to make sure that whatever we ate was five grams or less of fat or had five grams or less of sugar. We had to do that. Once I was done with the requirements of going to the psychologist and the nutritionist, I went back to the surgeon, let him know, you know, I had him already my visits and I was cleared for surgery and he said, okay, your surgery is going to be August 15, 2018. And I was like, oh my God, this is the real deal. 
so before that i had to go to a um pre-op appointment with my nutritionist which she gave me um pretty much a menu of what i had to eat the two weeks before so the two weeks before were really strict the first week i had to eat one meal of 300 calories and let me tell you guys it was not easy calculating to make sure that it was the exact 300 calories and drink three protein shakes the protein shakes that i would drink would be the premier protein shakes which are good and the following week the week before surgery was four to five premier shakes which i would only drink four because i was at that point i was like okay i'm done with this i'm done with the protein shakes so the day of surgery i was really nervous because i have never in my life gotten any type of surgery so it was kind of something major to me i was super scared and hoping you know everything went well thank god it did this is me at the hospital getting medication done me after surgery and walking so i wouldn't get any blood clots and for the next two weeks after surgery it was pretty tough i would get hungry but i will get full fast and we had to only and i mean only strictly drink liquid and it was an ounce every 15 minutes and yeah we would get full the thing is i have a family and i had to cook for my family and it was so hard to smell the food and not being able to eat or taste it i will be honest i broke down a few times and i cried because i would be like oh my god i wish i could just have a little taste of that and i wouldn't be able to it was pretty tough but i got through the first two weeks and then the week three and week four were like pureed foods which we would able to eat like scrambled eggs for example or tuna which was pretty much what i would stick to because i was like i'm not gonna puree chicken or vegetables you know like baby food i was like i'm not gonna do that so i pretty much just stuck to tuna and scrambled eggs i mean i really got tired of eating the same thing but i was like hey gotta do what i gotta do and um there's have been a lot of things that i have stopped eating completely and i mean now it's been a year but for example chinese food my stomach doesn't tolerate chinese food anymore donuts um oreo cookies for some reason oreo cookies and recently what i have tried to avoid because the last time i ate it oh my god it was such a bad experience is pizza and by bad experience i mean like through a stomach pain is just horrible horrible if you guys know of anyone that has gotten bariatric surgery there has been people that don't tolerate certain foods the same anymore and they have to stop and for me it has been chinese food pizza donuts and other cookies overall I feel great about the experience and i am happy to have made that decision I do have excess skin which it does bother me and in the future I do plan to get it removed but for now I mean I have to deal with it but the reason why I'm doing this video is to hopefully motivate more people into getting it done you know for those people that are obese and unhappy to see you know that there has been people that have done it and that has made great changes and hopefully you know motivate them into getting it done i am happy to say that two girls that i know have already gotten bariatric surgery done because they said that i motivated them and that feels really good and i hope to motivate more girls into getting it done you know for them to feel good about themselves and also to be healthier one thing that is very important is never to forget your vitamins and these are for bariatric patients multivitamins they're chewable tablets and also calcium right now i don't have any but yeah i also take calcium which is very important and also water 64 ounces of water a day and i believe 
you have to intake 60 grams of protein which i don't do much but i should and before i end this video i want to give a big big thank you to my dear friend shalimar she is the one who motivated me into getting bariatric surgery she's the one who gave me all the information and she's the one who told me you know what your insurance could cover it for you and thanks to her i went to my doctor and i talked to her about getting bariatric surgery done i hope you guys like this video about my weight loss journey give it a big thumbs up and subscribe